Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to draw the carbon ring of the two chair structures with cyclohexane. Okay, so in other words, just the ring portion, just the carbon portion, like what I have here. Okay, remember cyclohexane, six membered carbon ring. Okay, again, this is it without its hydrogens, the model itself. And what we're going to show you is now is how to draw the two chair structures, okay? And why they call them a chair structure. The way to do this is to make your lines parallel, okay? So this line is parallel to that line. This line is parallel to that line, and this line is parallel to that line, okay? So do it as best you can. And hopefully you can see that's the same as what we've got there. Okay. I'll pass this around so you guys can check it out. So they call this a chair structure, so if you can imagine, right, a chair with your head up here, your body laying here, and your legs down here, like a recliner chair, right, your head here, your body here, and then your legs hanging down here. Okay, let's do the chair flip now. So remember what we said about the um, lines being parallel. We're going to do the same thing. So we have these two lines parallel to each other, these two lines parallel to each other, and these two lines parallel to each other. Okay? And we call that a chair flip. I'm going to show you that with the model, just the carbons of cyclohexane. Okay? So this portion flips down, this portion flips up. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Okay. I'll pass this around. And I want you to flip this back up, flip this back down, and we get that. Right? So flip that up, and that portion down, and we get that. That's a chair. Okay, we'll do it with uh, some more uh, involved structures, ones that have hydrogens and other substituents on the cyclohexane ring. Okay, check it out.